friend was in hospital having had her second child and her husband was at home with the toddler. Was John. He said, come on Joe, let's go see mummy. Got out the buggy, put his foot on the back of the buggy and didn't realise that Joe's finger was in the mechanism. Oh, oh, yes. So Joe's finger has come off. What do you do? Ice. Oh no, no, no. What do you, it's something on there. No. It came off entirely. <laughs> You've got to. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it, hold, put it back, put hold the thing it back that... somehow. No, okay. no. Oh, put right. ice Put ice ice in the back of What about you? Not oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Forget yeah. the finger for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, why not? Finger. <laughs> Can you see everyone? I'm sure it's got a bill. Apply the direct pressure <laughs> to the poor child's yeah. <laughs> um, stump of finger. Um, so it calm him elevate down, it. elevate it, give him a hug, sort him out, and then turn your attention to the finger. <laughs> okay. Now, if you were to pick up your finger and wrap it in frozen peas mm -hmm. and take it to hospital, we'd say, oh, I wish you hadn't done that because you caused ice burns. Mm. Mm. So we can't use it anymore. <laughs> so it's a myth. Yeah, it's nearly, myth. No, it's nearly right. It's not, not a myth, but it's nearly right, but not, not quite. And the other thing is don't wash it. Whatever that finger has fallen into, you don't want to wash it because you're going to lose bits. And we want to have microsurgery going on so you just want to pick it up very carefully, oh, oh, strap it in a little bit of non-fluffy material, it doesn't need to be sterile but as clean as you've got, then stick it in a plastic bag or a bit of cling film, crisp packet, whatever you've got, wrap it up and then you put it on the ice. You want to chill it but not freeze it. We are meat and you need to stop it from decomposing. So that's what you're doing.